Morning, welcome back. As quoted by the scientific study from the four nations long ago, water is a pretty important beverage. We drink it, our bodies are literally made out of it, girls will even morph into a different creature just by touching some condensation. Oh no, I know some of you are so dehydrated, you need a random guy on the internet to remind you to drink some water. It's a great healthy choice. No additives other than a rope piece of dust that might get in there from time to time. I don't know a better drink to gulp down at 4am when you wake up with your throat feeling like you ate a handful of sand as a snack before bed. The name implies that there are zero calories like most water. But as you know, I don't just make videos if nothing weird is happening. I learned about this new thing on TikTok called Water Talk, which I assumed it would just be as inoffensive and neutral as filtered water. You ever mix a bunch of random liquids in the bathroom when you were a kid to make potions and stuff? Kinda gives off the same energy, but this time people are actually eating this random combination of syrups and dyes. What's new? The TikTok algorithm forcing me to learn something against my will once again. Maybe that's why it stopped working on my phone. Is the TikTok ban actually happening? I haven't been able to use it for two weeks. I've, I've been watching TikToks on my computer. If I could only learn something new that's actually useful by using our sponsor Skillshare, then I could at least look like I have my life together. The online learning hub where you can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. With 40,000 plus classes in photography, film and video, music, entrepreneurship, lifestyle, and more, you can learn just about anything. No two career paths are ever the same. Sure, you could be in the same field, but everyone's got different interests and styles of learning. Like I would rather take a nap than learn from a textbook made up of size 10 font. One thing I'm really good at, unfortunately, is distracting myself whenever I have a giant list of things I need to do. Maybe my parents are right, if I just put down that damn phone, I would be so much more productive. So taking classes like Productivity Today, Finding Your Flow for Maximal Productivity by Kevin Siskar every once in a while, really helps to clear my brain fog and get me back into a steady routine that doesn't involve 5 hours of doom scrolling in one sitting. I tend to learn best visually, that's why I really enjoy these classes in video form, since it's really engaging. Join a community of like-minded creatives by sharing what you've learned and your own personal work. Classes can be as short as 15 minutes and done at your own pace. You can learn anywhere at any time. If you're ready to reinvent yourself and your goals, Skillshare is offering a one month free trial to any of my viewers that use the link in the description box. But for the month of April only, they're running an even better offer. If you're ready to start learning today with Skillshare, you can get 40% off your first year using my link. Both of the links will be down below so you can choose the best offer for you. The main character leading this water talk trend is this lady called Tanya Spanglow. Her lore traces back Back to the ancient state of Oklahoma, well known for sweet tea and peach cobbler, probably, which explains her southern accent and love for sweet things. Half of those things are just an educated guess from me. I just wanted to practice my southern accent in case I need to host a meet and greet on a farm one day. Tanya started drinking flavored water as a way to meet her water goals after having gastric sleeve surgery three years ago, with her doctor recommending she drink at least 64 ounces per day to aid in her recovery. She says drinking plain water made her literally ill. It would make me feel so full I would puke. You feel like something is erupting in your esophagus, she says. She had already been using skinny syrups to flavor her coffee, so she decided to try using them to flavor her water. Following her surgery, she has lost more than 220 pounds, she says. After posting her water of the day recipes on TikTok, the followers started pouring in, the views went up, and people started sharing their own recipes using the hashtag watertalk. She even got her own affiliate link with the specific brand of syrup she always uses. How very girl boss of her. But instead of gaslighting, and gatekeeping, she's sharing and caring. She's from the South, y'all. Southern hospitality is actually a thing. But that's the story of Tanya and the two week rise of Water Talk recipes all over our For You page. Ain't that a touching story? Here's what an actual TikTok from her looks like. I couldn't believe what I was seeing after she said this was her second water of the day. My second water of the day, and it is 11.55. So I'm cruising with the water goes today. Let's go to the old caddy. These are my favorites down here, so I'm just gonna pick one. I'm not even gonna look. Let's see. What are we gonna get? Woo! Fresh oh. pineapple! One of my favorites. What are we gonna add oh, it with? Shit. All right. Why did that scare me more than the Scream remake? Can everyone calm down? It is way too early for this. It's only 11.55. PM. As an INFJ person, there is no reason to be yelling in the kitchen like that unless there's a fire. But I am also intrigued. What are we doing? Huh? Fresh pineapple! One of my faves. What are we gonna add it with? Alright, let's go to the water bar. What's it gonna be, y'all? Okay, so I hear the word water bar. Where's the water? There are liquids, but none of them are water color. You know what I mean? I see some red 40, blue 02, dragon fruit acai, or as said with a southern twang. Dragon fruit acai? Nah. 
coconut. Let's do that. Two pumps of the coconut syrup. Mama's trying to have a pina colada. Let's do three. All right, pineapple packet. On oh, mixing that up, a new cup just came. <laughs> Let's give this a go. If you like pina colada, and I do, baby. I do get why people like her content. She's that fun elementary school teacher that brings fun games to school and snacks, and the other teachers don't like her because they're bitter and teach math. I don't really have an issue with adding a bunch of stuff to your water if it makes it taste better for you. This whole water talk thing is just really interesting from an outside perspective. When you drink a cup. When you drink pop, sorry, no free cloud on here unless you want to pay. <laughs> I saw what you guys have done for new jeans. When you drink pop, coffee, or juice, sure it's made out of water, but you don't say, mmm, that was a nice refreshing glass of water. You see a lot of comments saying, this is basically flat pop, or water isn't that scary, I promise. In the end, it's all just pointless semantics. But at what point do you consider a beverage, not water, and something else? Maybe when you're making water recipes that calls for seven pumps of sugar syrup and two packets of powdered sweetener. Or maybe when the water turns into a color that is definitely not found in nature. Like, even wild animals would not touch the stuff. Another one bites the dust. Let's go. Hi internet, let's make our final water of the day. To preface, this is actually not my recipe. This is Sweet But Snarky's recipe for birthday cake water. As usual, grab your favorite 40 ounce cup. I'm using my Stanley, 35 ounces of water and about five ounces of ice or whatever to your preference. Now for the syrups, we're gonna be using cotton candy. So you're gonna do, I like it sweet, just a warning, but I'm gonna do one, two, three, four pumps of cotton candy. Now the next syrup for the cake flavor, you're gonna use vanilla almond. Do one, two, three pumps of the vanilla almond. Okay, you know the drill, mix, mix, mix until all of those flavors are combined. Uh, sorry, is the water in the room with us? This isn't water, but it's camp. <laughs> Why is that one of the funniest and most accurate descriptions I've seen of this? That campy water is looking camp right in the eye. Carly Kloss approved for real. I just really love how beautiful the cotton candy syrup makes this water. It's so cute. Taste is subjective. Obviously, people have different thresholds of what they find sweet. For me, I like it when a dessert makes me say, ooh, this is really good dessert, not too sweet. While some people can eat cookies covered in chocolate fudge, baked into a brownie, and be just fine. It might also have to do with the fact I am half millennial, half grandpa. Okay, now time for the taste test. I'm so excited about this one. Oh Happy birthday to me. This is so good. Seeing all that sugar content in there in the nicest way possible makes me want to gag. If I'm consuming all that sugar in a drink, I'd rather eat a birthday cake. My teeth are going to go to waste if I'm not chewing anything. That's why we have cake water. First things first, just to sweeten it up, I'm going to get some sugar. And I'm just going to pour it in my water, just like that. Okay, going. We also have some baking soda. So I'm just gonna put some of that in. This will really just like make it nice and thick, I think, for like, get the whole birthday cake going. Um, finally, of course, we're baking, so we need some eggs. I'm just gonna put Ew. that in there. Don't drink that. Okay, so let's just stir it up and give it a try. Oh my God. He drank that raw. Personally, I would have baked that in the oven. His friends Sam and Ella are gonna visit him tonight. According to Tanya, after making these waters of the day, she upped her water intake and lost a bunch of weight by not drinking soda anymore, which inspired a lot of people to follow in her footsteps. Watching her videos, I thought I should try that. I went and got the packets and different water flavors and just started making waters. Now I drink over 100 ounces of water a day. If you drink soda daily, doing this as an alternative could be healthier, but it doesn't seem like people are drinking these in moderation. Like they are replacing their daily water intake with these water recipes. Water of the day sounds like you're having one sweet drink a day, right? Um, I really hope that the majority of people aren't drinking eight glasses of this every single day. Good morning. Let's make our little water of the day. Of the hour, because I've been sucking these down. Oh boy, by the hour. I am concerned. My teeth are already hurting, thinking about drinking eight of these a day. And you know, I'm no doctor or nutritionist, not here to police what people are eating and drinking. Although I can Google and find things written by health professionals that says an excess of anything sweet is bad. It's really gross. What a powerful image. What are you doing? What did you put in the sugar? It's so good. Whether it's sugar or artificial sweeteners, too much is not healthy. And the colors of these drinks are kind of scary. Looking like a lava lamp, it looks cool, but please don't drink the insides. I found these cherry pomegranate um, welch ones yesterday at Walgreens. So we're gonna try this, if I can get it open. Intermission. Oh, 
how strong this is going to be so i did bring two but we got our water and our ice and our 32 ounce tumbler let's mix it looks a little light on the bottom it might need another packet that looks pretty good to me yeah it needs one more oh <gasps> much better so with the second dark. packet is that going to turn my teeth and tongue red <gasps> Not only will it dye your entire mouth red, I'm pretty sure these people's insides look like a Splatoon battlefield. Do a cherry skinny syrup, probably two pumps. Oops, one, oops. This is red, if I get this on me, it's gonna dye my clothes red. I did three pumps. Then a raspberry, I haven't used this one yet, so I'll probably do two pumps. Delish. Okay, now we gotta mix it around, bring it. The silicone slipped off. Oh no, the chemicals are degrading the cup. Just kidding. Am I though? Chemists in the comments, is there any chance of this happening? Because I would not be surprised. That's normal. It comes off so you can clean the straw. But anyway, let's try. Mm. Ooh, that's so refreshing. Yeah, that one's really good. Just because one aspect of something is healthy doesn't negate the fact that you're consuming 100 grams of sugar. Burgers have protein and riboflavin in the bun. But if I ate that three times a day for every meal, my arteries would be riboflamin. Orange flavored toothpaste has vitamin C from the oranges. But if you're eating that every day, not really sure how you're watching this video. Oh, my, my blood pressure. With the power of alchemy, we can now match the color of our drinks to the colors of our cups right here in our own home. And everyone's so creative. There's so many combinations of syrups and flavor packets to mix. We're all just brewing our own potions to drink at home instead of paying $8 for a venti outside. Happy hump day. Let's make a flavored water. We have some water and some ice. Now we got to get a packet and some syrup. For the packet, I want to do the nerds. Oh, this one. And then for the syrup, I think I'm going to do some coconut and also some vanilla. Here I am saying it's loud and then mixing it on camera. Sorry. No worries, girl. You're good. Okay. No, I think I'm just going to stick to the vanilla today because I like this combo with just coconut and now I like it with just vanilla. Maybe when I get creative someday I'll do both, but oops. But I don't want to mess it up in case I don't like that. If I didn't have to drink the water I made, I would make my own water bar just so I could pretend to be a bartender for serotonin. It does look kind of fun, being a scientist mixing all your little liquids and goops together. 200 milliliters of H2O, a fructose ring, and a pipette of glucose with some carbon monoxide. If I didn't almost fail organic chemistry, I could be working in a lab. Let's see what Tanya's up to. It's been a few TikToks. So I woke up thinking it was Friday. Guess what? It's Wednesday. Hmm. I'm a little hacked off, so... We're just going to get straight to the water of the day. We just got to pretend we didn't see that caption. Uh, what are we making now, Tanya? First thing, ice. Only the good stuff for you, baby. In the glass. Next, water. Fill her up. Let's go to the water bar. Okay, here's what we're making. Remember your grandma used to make this salad? It had pistachio jello pudding mix. It had cherries on top. A little bit of marshmallow. That's what we're making today. Pistachio, two pumps. Grab the glass. Grab the cherry. Okay, so I've just got two pumps of pistachio syrup in here. I'm going to add a pineapple packet. Yo, look how pretty she is. So I'm going to make it in this, and then you guys know I'm going to transport it to my 40-ounce glass. <sighs> now for the cherry. I'm about to get super excited because I love a pretty water. Two pumps of the cherry. <sighs> there's one. And there's two. And look at her. I don't even want to mix it. Like, I don't even want to mix her up because she is so sick and pretty. But we're going to so we can give her a taste. I hope y'all are having a good day. I hate to say it, but this is not your best work, Tanya. The color looks like a surgical experiment that someone ate and then threw up. I'd give it a 3 out of 10 for color, 1 out of 10 for the name. She's had better ones, like the pineapple ocean water. And then your pineapple syrup, too. Zhuzhs. If you don't like it as sweet, use less syrup. You know me, I like a sweet baby. It is weirdly satisfying seeing her drink these dyes for your internal organs. Some of these probably taste really good, like 
liquefied candy. I am dry heaving and developing nausea just by thinking about the amount of sugar and artificial sweeteners in here, but if I didn't care, there's a parallel universe of me doing 10 pumps of blue raspberry and a pink starburst packet. It is sort of like watching mukbangs. Would I like to try every single flavor of ramen and Oreos in one sitting? Obviously, but if I can do it vicariously through a skinny Asian girl eating her weight in eggs, then why not? From what I've seen, a lot of people are only using sugar-free syrups and sugar-free drink mixes, or it's a combination of artificial sweeteners mixed with syrups made from cane sugar. I was curious, how much sugar is actually in one of these drinks? I'm not good at math, but I can count using my a calculator. So one pump of Starbucks vanilla syrup has five grams of sugar based on this fitness website. The girl that made birthday cake water put seven pumps of syrup in her water. So that's already 35 grams of sugar if the syrup she was using wasn't sugar-free. A regular can of Coke. The drink that the girls from New Jeans like has 39 grams of sugar. And if you're drinking eight of these waters a day, that's 280 grams of sugar. Y'all sweat is gonna be attracting ants. There is no way that is healthy. The thing about sugar is that you can actually see the exact amount on the nutrition labels. But with sucralose and artificial sweeteners, it's only listed as an ingredient, and it's pretty difficult to find the exact amount unless the company decides to put it on the label. Could be more than sugar, could be less, I don't know. Tanya has seen the backlash she's been getting on her TikToks, and this is what she had to say. I don't know why y'all are so mad about some waters. I don't get it. But let me just tell you my take on it, okay? Um, I post a water of the day in your little comments. In my comments saying it's Kool-Aid, it's juice. I'm the whitest woman in America. This is a white woman thing. It's not. I can assure you it's not. Um, that this is soda. That this is the furthest thing from water. All those comments, they don't phase me, y'all. They don't. If you're sick of water talk, if you're sick of the water girls, if you're sick of the water recipes that you don't understand why you're on TikTok, you just don't get it. You're the chemicals, the aspartame. Like, oh my gosh, this is not water. Okay, so not water. Okay, so soda. Okay, so flavor juice. Okay, it's your sugar free juice. God, the comments, y'all. Um, Stop putting those comments and you won't, you'll stop seeing my videos. Yeah, I'll agree with that. She has a point. You don't want to see certain things on the internet. Just block the person and watch something else. Just come here and watch my videos instead. <laughs> um, For someone that makes content about drinking water, she seems a little dehydrated here. You know what, girl? I talk a lot in my videos. I get it. I feel that. The air is so dry where I live. My lips are chapped. It's probably not that deep. She does seem like a nice lady. Living her life, not hurting anyone other than her kidneys, right? Those are like the Brita filters of the body. For people complaining she's being a bad influence on kids. Well, first of all, why does your eight-year-old have an iPhone 15 with TikTok on it? And why are you as the adult letting them buy 10 flavors of syrup and 10 Stanley cups? Which is another issue people are talking about. Social media is causing overconsumption where people are being influenced to buy so many things that they don't even need. Like influencers doing these giant fast fashion hauls where most of the clothes aren't even getting worn. Do those TikToks disguise as content when it's really just an ad to get you to buy stuff. You guys notice how every water talk person has this exact brand of cup? These are called Stanley Cups and they used to be marketed towards farmers and people that went camping until they sank their claws into the influencer market. Fun fact, Stanley actually released these almost five years ago and no one bought them. They targeted them to their typical customers, the camper, the outdoorsman, the farmer, and no one bought the cups. So they decided to change their marketing tactics and start selling them to influencers and teachers and nurses. And ever since then, the world has lost their ever-loving minds on these cups. Stanley has a restock email list of over 150,000 people waiting for these cups to be back in stock. One lady actually sent a note in to the Stanley president and said that when she dies, she wants her ashes to be buried in a Stanley tumbler. Well, who knew we'd be diving into lore about a cup? I've seen people with cabinets filled with these cups just for aesthetic and vibes. Practically, you really only need one or two at most, but when you have money, you can do whatever you want. Why can't we do water talk using an old plastic water bottle our parents forgot to recycle? Is this trend only meant for a certain demographic? I'm not gonna get into that for now, because my head is already hurting from watching people basically eat Splenda by the spoonful. Like I said before, it's not that deep. Who even cares? Not me even though I made a video on it, doing things in moderation is really the best way to live. Is this relatively harmless? For the most part, yeah, you're only really hurting yourself. Are there studies showing the side effects of eating way too much sugar? Yes. Is this just another fad or trend within diet culture? Could be. Is everyone that's doing this trend on their way to developing unhealthy eating habits? Probably not. Okay then. What is the moral of the story? Sometimes I just want to talk about the weird things I come across. These people can drink as much flavored sugar water as they want, and I'll be here watching and slow blinking. I will not be doing that, but...
Thank you for showing me. Before you go, don't forget to feed the YouTube algorithm a tumbler full of water the color of a PlayStation controller by liking this video. Every time you finish one of my videos all the way through while leaving a comment, I get to pop up on your recommended to remind you to drink your 8 glasses of water soup. Have a good day, try not to be dumb, and see you in the next one.